This week, the special interlocutor, Kimberly Murray, connected to Inuit survivors of residential schools. It's the first such gathering on unmarked graves in the Arctic. It's also the last, as Murray's mandate ends in June of this year, with time needed to make recommendations based on these gatherings. Navalik Tolganik was born in Cambridge Bay. She was sent to Stringer Hall, Inuvik's residential school. She says a specifically Inuit gathering is needed. Well, for myself, like I spoke and asked questions about um, um, if we can have a, another Inuit gathering, specifically Inuit and elders and survivors gathering in Nunavut. Because, I, like I said earlier, there's not enough of our elders here, survivors. In addition to residential schools, an estimated 5,000 Inuit were sent down south to tuberculosis sanatoriums in the 50s and 60s. Following a similar trend of long-term removals without word, word or warning to families, mm -hmm. families were not informed when someone died. A lack of records or contact is a long-standing issue with many Inuit survivors. I think the government likes to hide things, hide files, hide names, hide their bad doings of what they're not supposed to be doing, or otherwise it's just genocide. I don't know. I don't want that to happen to my kids or my family anymore, and I want to stop it. Try and help anyways. Yeah. Murray says the Inuit experience will be taken into account on her recommendations. Our, we recognize that each of our gatherings are unique and uh, certainly it's very unique uh, being in the north and the experience of Inuit with the hostile system uh, with the TB sanatoriums is, is quite unique uh, to Inuit and so there has to be unique responses uh, to address the challenges that they're facing. There were 21 TB facilities that operated across Canada and 14 residential schools in what became Nunavut. According to the final report of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, an estimated 15 children died in Nunavut residential schools. However, due to limitations on records, the number is expected to be higher. Trevor Wright, APTN National News, Hikaluit.